so that so there will be a preacher. And one of the Amen. 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 It was the there's something that God has deposited in my heart. When we went into Katunda Tata, they would be my God. It wasn't easy in the dream. But I thank the Spirit of God that I was able to understand. Praise the Lord. I was able to understand. And I want to share with you. I want to teach you. Teach about the world. I want you to get out your pen and your book and write. Because it's important for you. It will prepare you. It will prepare you. Soon and soon we are getting out of this year. But we need special grace. We need special grace of God. To repeat the new year. Praise the Lord. You need a special grace. You need to begin a new year in the new grace. Praise the Lord. We need God to give us another chance. We need God to give us another chance. To walk with Him. Praise the Lord. This teaching, I believe, it will prepare you. Praise the Lord. It will prepare someone. It may not prepare all of us. But it will, it will prepare someone's heart. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to talk about the world. I want to talk about the world. But before I go on, what I want to talk about the world. To save the world. Praise the Lord. There are other simple words we can use beside the word war. You can call it a battle. You can call it a battle. You can call it a battle. Praise the Lord. What causes battle? It is simply disagreement. Praise the Lord. Amen. And, and if that results in two fights. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, many times we have seen wolves and we have heard about wolves. You have seen yourself. When I get going and you but we have heard about it. Praise the Lord. Amen. You have seen wars in your families. You have seen wars in workplaces. You have seen wars in church. You have seen wars in nations. You have heard about wars in nations. Praise the Lord. Listen. The world did not speak in from there. They will not begin from your families. They will not begin from wherever you think. Praise the Lord. They will begin some time back. And the war is still on. It is still on. It is never finished. It has never ended. I want to share this to the whole world. I want to share this with everyone that is watching me right now. That all has been there from the time uh, that between God and the devil. 
Listen. Where did the war begin for? The war, I mean, in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse number 1, the Bible tells us that God, God created the heaven and the earth. Praise the Lord. God created the heaven and the earth. So you realize that there is an entity that is not seen in the physical realm. Praise the Lord. There is an entity that is not seen in the physical realm. And that's where, I mean, that's how the world started. The world between the car and Satan. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. In the book of Revelation chapter number 12. Praise the Lord. There was war in heaven. And God overcame this war. Praise the Lord. God overcame this war from heaven. But the devil did not give up. The devil came to continue with this war. I want us to read uh, Revelation chapter 12. Let me understand how the war started. Praise the Lord. Before we realize that there's a war that is still on, we need to understand how the war started. Starting from verse 7. Then the world fell out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Angel Mikhail, Narana. Michael and his angels. Michael Fought against the dragon. Never And the dragon and his angels fought back. Dragon never Malay Kabe never was not strong enough. But he was not strong enough. And lost their place in heaven. The great dragon was held down. Dragon and the ancient serpent called the devil or Satan. But the by the over devil. Who leads the whole world astray? Who leads the whole world astray? Okay. He was hurt to the earth. And his angels with him. First day. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven say, Now I have come to the, come the salvation. Now I have come the salvation. Now I have come the salvation and the power. And the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. Messiah. For the accuser of our brothers and sisters who accuses them before our God day and night. Who accuses them before our God. And Paisa. 
Other night they used to sleep in the bush. Praise the Lord. Amen. Most of you watch. I want us to settle. I want us to settle. Praise the Lord. Most of you watch on television. Like in Buket. You call them Akatanka Tans. In English, it translates to like it is just starting. Praise the Lord. The part of what we are seeing physically. What we are seeing physically with our eyes did not begin from there. It is not caused by physical things. They begin in spirit. Praise the Lord. They begin in spirit. We always witness in the physical. Just to 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 be 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 it is not against flesh and blood. But against spiritual forces. Spiritual forces. Praise the Lord. Amen. The powers of evil. The principalities. You can read the Bible and read it better. Ephesians chapter number 6 verse number 12 for our struggle is not against the flesh and blood but against the rulers against the powers of this dark world and the spiritual forces of evil is a heavenly realms. In the heavenly realms. Amen. So, which kind of battle? There's this battle which you can't defeat. There is this part of which we cannot fit. It is that which is against the spiritual forces. And when we start in spiritual realm, we witness in a physical. Praise the Lord. But how can you fight such a battle and defeat it? Remember, you can't see with your eyes. Praise the Lord. How can you fight and defeat it? The Bible tells you that therefore put on the full armor of God. So that when the day of evil comes, so, so you may be able to stand your ground and after you have done everything to stand to stand firm with the belt of truth tied around your waist tied around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place no two And with your feet and with your feet with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. And verse 17 says, Take the foot the, the helmet of salvation and the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. And verse 18 says, and he prayed in spirit on all occasions 
With all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be always. Keep on praying for all the Lord's people. Pray also for me. That what, whenever I speak, words may be given to me. So that our fearlessly make known the mystery of the gospel. For which I am an ambassador in chains. Pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Many times you fight what you don't see. You fight the battle you don't know. You fight against things that you can't see. But when you are ignorant about such, you are fighting the air. You missed the call. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. That you have seen. If you have ever had disagreement with your brothers and sisters, that resulted in two fights, it did not begin from there. People had people have fought to the extent of killing each other. But battle does not begin from there. It begins from the world, the spiritual realm. Where you don't see. You can't tell the intention. You have fought your brothers. You have fought your sisters. But you hated them without knowing that this is not your battle. Without knowing that you are innocent in this battle. No. Sibwenyi nuwentano. You have been used. You have been used. That's why you have someone you hate. That's why you have some people who hate you. That's why you have someone you're fighting. That's why you have certain people fighting you. Praise the Lord. All of us are subjects to this battle. But we are innocent. All these people I'm talking about. But I want to know the we are all innocent. But we, are, we have all become subject to this battle. For us to be subjected to this battle, it means we are being used. But the question is, you are being used by who? You are fighting on whose side? Praise the Lord. But then there is a battle and wars between us and the rulers of this world. There is a serious battle between you and the rulers of this world. The ruler of this world. It's not the government. It is not God. In the book of First John, chapter five, verse number nineteen. Yokane Soka, chapter five, verse nineteen. The Bible says, "The evil one controls the world." The evil one. I want to read and understand better. First John chapter five, 
Yohane soka kutano. Verse 19. We know that we are children of God. And that the whole world is under the control of the evil one. Why do you think this battle between you and the ruler of this world? You are a child of God. You are a child of God. You are on the earth. Yet this earth is being controlled by the evil one. That's why you have so many obstacles. You have so many hindrances. First of all. You have so many adversaries. You have many things that are fighting you and you are fighting. First of all, if you know that your own father, your own mother can fight you, your own father can fight you, your own boss, your own husband, your own children can fight you. That because we are all subjects to this battle, which we've done some time back. And why are you subjects? I think 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 I one side is right and one side is wrong. The one that is right is innocent. The one who is wrong is fighting because the war has begun some time back. And this one is being used. Praise God. I want to tell you, I don't, I, I don't live with you in your homes. I am not in your places. Because you can fear your cousin to come at your place. Because you know when, when your pastor comes, the devil take care of his house. They will tell your pastor that we are tired of that one. And they will tell you that we are tired of that one. They will tell you that we are tired of that one. They will tell you that we are tired of that one. As I am talking now, you have certain battle in your families. Hello, my family. You have certain battle in your workplaces. To the extent that you don't even beat your own brother. Your own mother, your own father. You can't beat your own government. You can't beat your own boss. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why? Rachi. Praise the Lord. Now, if the evil one is against you. Why are you fighting your own brother or your own sister? Because the Bible says we know very well we are children of God. Yet this world is ruled by the evil one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. So you can see where we are. This world is being controlled by the by the Satan. Praise the Lord Jesus. This world is ruled by the Satan. The devil is the ruler of this world. And it is why the devil wanted Jesus to fight the Satan. Jesus. 
Because he is the one controlling the kingdom. I want you to understand. And you realize that you have no reason to fight your own. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. I mean. We should have in mind that the one we are fighting. And that one is the, the devil. Oh, yes, the one we are fighting is the ruler of this world. So it becomes even more harder for us to fight and overcome such battle. If we fight in the flesh. Praise the Lord. The evil one is the ruler. We shouldn't be our visitors. Praise the Lord. Amen. We shouldn't be our visitors. Praise the Lord. The man who sang his song. This one is not my home. I'm just kidding. It's not song of the song. Sing the song. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. Come on. This one is not my home. I'm just passing through. See, you're passing through, eh? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, now listen. We are not actually the devil. This is the devil. The devil is the ruler. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's like we are visitors. Actually, we are visitors. But the question is, how many of us are going to fight such battle and overcome? How can we fight such a battle and overcome? So we fight the evil one and we overcome. So if we fight in flesh, if you are fighting in flesh, you will fight in flesh. Something wrong like this, you will change your face. If you are fighting in flesh, you will change your face. If you are fighting in flesh, you will change your face. If you are fighting in flesh, you will change your face. How can you win such a battle? If you are fighting in flesh, right there come. The Bible says, "Hallelujah, see a movie, no side." This this battle is not for the flesh and the blood. Praise the Lord. Come my best way. Praise the Lord Jesus. Come my best way. I'm about to finish. Nancy, look, man. I'm about to finish. But I want you to know that we need with a weapon. We must have, we must discover the weapon that we can use to fight such a battle. Remember, we are the subjects to this battle. Today we are being used. In a fight in this battle, God wants to use you to fight and win for Him. But also the devil wants to use you to fight and win for Him. My question to you: Which side do you belong? Which side are you fighting for? Praise the Lord. Which side are you fighting for? Let me tell you something. In the book of Luke chapter 22. Verse number 3. Luke 22 verse 3. Luke 22 verse 3. Luke 22 verse Luca chapter 22 Luca uh, verse 3 The evil spirit entered in the Judas Iscariot Praise the Lord The evil spirit entered upon Judas and Judas was used by the devil to fight the power. I wanted to know that 
Either you are used by God, or you are used by God. The word is no longer in heaven. It is right here on earth. And you are being used to continue this battle. Praise Not every part of fighting are wrong. One side is wrong and one side is wrong. One side is innocent, one side is guilty. So, a side name, Tainam, Taina, with Punayas away, and Allah. Judas was innocent, man. You dare him said a Tainam Sambo. Judas was an innocent man. You dare him said a Tainam Who never wished to fight? To fight God. You can see he was one of the eternal disciples. Also, one of the other, until an evil spirit came upon him. And when evil spirit came upon him, he was used to execute the plans of the devil. That was to fight the work of God. The Son of God was killed innocently. Okay, I want us to agree it was in the God's plan that Jesus would die for our salvation. But the judgment that was executed on him was wrong one. He was not guilty. He did not steal, he did not do anything wrong, he did not deserve. But also it was in the fulfillment of the scripture that he would die. But Judas betrayed him. Judas also did to want. Judas was used by the evil spirit. Today, Either it is God using you, or it is the devil. Yes, sir. That's why you say, even in charge of Christ, there's a battle day and night. Same fights with disagreements in families, in clans, in nations. We see disagreements. We see fights. Praise the Lord. Amen. You are either used by God or by the devil. You are either fighting for God or you are fighting for God. So check that out. Who are you fighting? Who is fighting you? Praise the Lord. But you must know that the battle is not yours. You can only be used. Praise the Lord. If you're fighting someone innocent, you are fighting, I know. But that battle is not yours. You're only fighting either for God or you're fighting for the evil one. Because from the beginning, light and darkness will never agree. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Have you not spent in this battle? We decided, are we fighting for? In which side are you? Because we are subject to the war. Let me tell you, children of God. Both God and the devil want to use the word. The devil wants to use the word. God wants to use the word. Like I can tell you now, I am always ready to stand and represent the kingdom of 
We can see the fruits coming out of you and we tell what is driving you. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is why the devil puts his spirit on you and God does the same. I gave you an example with Judas Iscariot. An evil spirit came upon him. And also we see that in Jesus. Jesus said the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. And the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel to Yahweh, God is saying afterwards I will power up my spirit. I will power up my spirit upon every flesh. Praise the Lord. I will power up my spirit upon every flesh. Praise the Lord, Chief. So you can see you can see that God's spirit is upon you. God cannot use you until he deposits his spirit upon you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the book of Acts of the Apostles the Holy Spirit came upon them. Chapter 2. The Spirit of God came upon them. Jesus also promised that I am going to ask my Father to send you another helper. And the helper was Holy Spirit. Now we are all spirits. But the Spirit of God is holy. The Spirit of God is holy. The Spirit of the devil is evil. Praise God. So, many times 
we see and know. When the evil spirit is upon you, you cannot forgive someone. You don't have love for humanity. You don't forgive. You are not apologetic. You, you don't have love. The, the, the fruits within you are of the evil one. Praise the Lord. Of the evil one. This, is, this, this has come to prepare someone. This has come to help someone. Because we need to evaluate our ways of living. What do you know to take up? Even as we make our request to God, that God will give us the fresh grace to begin the new year in special way under His mercy. We need to elevate our lives, our ways of living, so that we can make a room, can have a room for change. We can have a room for change. You can change your mind. You can change the way you have been living. Praise the Lord Jesus. We can change. Praise the Lord. Amen. It is time that we get to to live as children of God. I, 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 let me try to share with you the fruits the fruits of those who are led by the evil one first John chapter 3 verse number 7 they are children they are children do not let anyone lead you astray. The one who does what is right is righteous. Just as Jesus is righteous. The one who does what is sinful is of the devil. Because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason why the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one is born of God will continue to sin. Because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. It is time to forgive. It is time to forgive like God. It is time for us to forgive like God's children. It is time for us to stop sinning as God's children. It is time for us to turn away from our evil ways of living. It is time for us to live in the nature of Christ. It is time for us to live in the nature of Christ. It is time for us to get tired of fornication. Get tired of in darkness. It is time for us to start walking in light. There's no way you expect new things coming in 2022. If we don't change and turn our way back, praise the Lord. There is no way. Even if you pray like nothing, no and you fast like nothing, nothing, no one you. and you're telling God, no God 2020, I want this, no I want the other, no I want this, no you will have wasted your time. The change has to begin for me before God changes everything about you. Change your mind. Change your, your ways of living. We can't continue sinning. 
God knows that you are innocent for such matters. That's why when that sinner comes back, repents, comes back to come. Don't keep quiet and you are pretending that you are very, very holy. All of us were sinners. But we were all sinners. We were used by the devil. But God, through His mercy, He forgave us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Don't allow the devil to use you. If the devil has been using you, it is the time to denounce the devil. It is the time to deny the devil. It is the time to get out, make up your mind, to cross over. The weapon to use in this battle 
Read for me Second Corinthians very fast, chapter 10. Read for me Second Corinthians chapter 10. Verse to 5. What kind of weapon to be used in this battle? The Bible says, For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. We demolish arguments and every pretension that set itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Praise God. Amen. So we use the weapons. We use the weapons. We use the weapons that demolish arguments. It is not the physical. Praise the Lord. It is not the physical weapon used in fighting. Praise the Lord. What can demolish arguments is the word. It is not the physical. Look here. The devil uses the word. The devil uses words. And the devil uses the word. But the difference is here. The words that the devil uses are called lies. The one that God uses. Is called the truth. Put it in your mind. God uses the truth. The devil uses lies. When the devil uses lies, and you accept, you are going to help the devil to win that fight. When God uses the truth, and you hold on to the truth of God, you shall win that battle and make God a winner. Let me tell you, when you win for the sight of God, God has won. When you win on the side of the devil, the devil has won. Praise the Lord. Sisters and brothers. Stand on the truth. Always. Everywhere. In everything. As is someone fighting you? Have they taken you to the court? Have they abused you? Have they executed judgment on you? Well, it is very simple. For you to win, stand on the truth. That's why I don't need a lawyer. Who will argue to defend my faults? I only need to call. Who will always be on my side when I am on the truth? God will not be on your side when you are wrong. Our God is faithful. He only becomes faithful to the faithful. Do you want God to be on your side? Be faithful. Be on the truth. That's why I tell you people, I don't defend myself. Even if you speak one for me and you cry, I never defend myself. Just count it all with joy because I know the truth. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free. Inside you have sense to come and my name as you are by the name of 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 the name
Come on, everybody. You're in the truth. You need to walk on truth. You want to walk with God? Live a truthful life. Be on the side of the truth. In everything. Don't see man and you're dying for man. Don't see a man and you're dying for a man. What do you want? Be on the truth. God will enable you. Now, many times the devil used people who don't have God's truth. Now, let me summarize. I want us to look at a few examples. There was in the Bible errors. Praise the Lord. I'm going to be very brief. The first one, it was Adam versus the serpent. God was using Adam. God was on the side of Adam. The devil was using the serpent. The devil was on the side of the serpent. Now, Genesis chapter 2, verse 17. God told Adam. God told Adam. Chapter 2 of Genesis, verse 17. God told Adam. God told Adam. Do not eat the forbidden fruit. If you eat, you shall die. In the Genesis chapter 3, verse 1 to 6, Satan comes and says, Adam, eat. You shall not die. Praise the Lord. It's a dark disagreement. It's a dark fight. Isn't that a war? God says, do not eat Adam. If you eat, you shall die. Satan comes. Adam, eat. Adam, yeah. You shall not die. What do you see? A war. Praise the Lord. So what happens? Adam ate. Adam Nadia. Who was the winner? In that particular battle. It was the serpent. Who was used by the Satan? That particular war, Satan won. It was, I mean, Satan was the cause of man's downfall. Praise the Lord. Amen. The lies of the devil. Before man came with disobedience, but also it was as a result of the lies of the devil. That's why you need to forgive someone who hates you. Jesus, Jesus said in, in his last prayer, say, Father, forgive them, for they don't know what they have done. Forgive someone who hates you. Forgive those who are fighting you. So you are a Forgive them and you free. Because they don't know. They are being killed by the devil. You people forgive. You want to be free? You want to be a new person in 2022? Forgive now. So you are. Forgive now. So you are. Adam, Adam lost. Yeah, yeah, be you. Okay, when Adam heard, Adam, we are Adam yeah. accepted the lies. Adam not feel his own liver. And the earth. Nah, yeah. And that made God a loser and yeah. Satan a winner. It's a little bit of a feeling of standing now. Pressure. If you're on God's side, 
and you lose. No, no fear. God has lost. If you're on the side of Satan, and you lose, no fear. Satan has lost. Next time, how do we win the devil? To our Lavatestan. With the truth. Namazima. The words of the truth. At that time, in the, at the time of Adam, God knows and Satan won. Because Adam was not in the position. Praise the Lord. Your position. Your position. Is truth. In righteousness. Truth in righteousness. Praise the Lord. When, when you win, God has won. And when you lose, God has lost. There are three things that you need obedience, truth. And faithfulness for you to go for God to always be on your side. Second last example. Physical Israelites are the next Gentiles. Physical Israelites. Israelites. And the Gentiles. By Gentiles. Praise the Lord. In the Deuteronomy chapter number 7, from verse 3 to verse 4. Deuteronomy. Yeah. Oh, help that time. Praise the Lord. Chapter number 7, verse 3. Oh, I want them to what you don't need to tell you. Praise the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 3 to verse 4. God told, now, there was a battle between physical Israelites and the Gentiles. Now, at that time, God told to them to, not to intermarry the Gentiles. God told them, do not intermarry the Gentiles. Now, in the first Kings chapter 11, Verse King Solomon came. King Solomon came and intermarried. Now, now was a gentle woman. God said, "Do not intermarry." And for him, as a king, came and intermarried. Praise the Lord. Amen. Each time you disobey God, you make, you make God a loser. Then, uh, Jesus versus Satan. Matthew chapter 4, verse 1 to verse number 10. Matthew Chapter 4. 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 Yes, we are in the Mazima. He used the word of the truth. Which is the word of God. To defeat the Satan. Praise the Lord. Jesus used the word of God. Yes, we are in the The word of the truth. He stood his position. On the truth of God. He overcame. In the John 6 verse 33, it says, I have overcome the world. 1633. I have overcome this world. 
Now let me tell you. When Jesus overcame, yes, we are one. God won. Amen. If you be a brother, what well, a brother. And sister tells you. Sister Nabu came. And you stand your position. No, you to overcome the test. No, 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 you can't get it. You've made God a winner. Yeah. So that time is now an evil spirit using the sister to tempt you. I'm one of those brothers who have been tempted by sisters. <laughs> if your brother like me are there, Praise the Lord. Your brother like me and you're there. <laughs> Opportunities that we have in the Christ. They are not for entertaining the flesh. I have been tempted. With the money. With the love. No the smartphones. Nesimu. With everything. Nabulichim. To win me. Okumpangu. To win my heart. Okumangulo mtimangu. Each time you pass a test. Uliroi teshige. There's a promotion. Wabela wopulita. I wouldn't do what I have to do. Many preachers become well. Awamoli divanji wafuka bulu. Wabela wulunji. To take their thumb. I always tell people that keep the fire burning. Be radical for Jesus. He will lead to you. If you can stand the test, God will promote you. When, when Jesus overcame the temptation, He moved ahead. Starting to do a good. Starting to do a good. And for us, he does not anoint it. Anoint it. Sister and brother. We don't demand the anointing of God. It is the one thing that God wants to entrust you with. It's one thing that God wants to entrust you with. What is the anointing? What is the anointing? God's presence within you. God's divine presence within your life. The devil uses us to win God with the words of love. Know the truth. The truth will set you free. Even the devil can avail opportunity. You are a brother who is not married. And a beautiful sister comes. And for you are going to think, God has prepared an opportunity for me. I have been sleeping hungry. Ladies and gentlemen, not every privilege comes from God. Even the devil can have faith. In the form of test. And that is what can break your relationship with God. You can say no to the enemy, the devil. God, your father, will always be pleased with you. That's why your relationship with God will not be mentioned. And last of all, nations versus nations. In the family, you'll find that you and your brother, Tomoko Alokana. Or just something to you, when you stand there, you do Tomoko Alokana. You will find a pastor and a pastor. They hate each other. They don't work together. 
honest here. I am ready for him. Oh, yes, I, do. I am ready for Christ. Because I am the bride. I am his bride. I am ready. Praise the Lord. What are the signs that you're ready? What are the signs that you are ready? What are the signs that you are ready? Have you given someone? Or you are fighting the other? Or what right? Come on, Okay, there will be wars. What about my Italo? But Jesus said they will fight you because of me. They will hate you because of me. They will betray you because of me. By the point, sir, I have a question. The Bible urges you to remain on the truth. God's side is the truth. Amen. Now you can check yourself. At If you've been fighting. Oh, I don't run. On whose side? Whose side are? Whose side? Side are. If you've been used. Oh, I don't for the same. Who has been using you? Has God been using you all the time? Because when you've been for the same star. It is important for us to have the truth. Stand up on your feet. You will not know the end time. You will come with everything that we desire in our hearts. I teach I don't you to go back with him and just first and all. My last week. We desire that the real comes with everything new. To go much or mark a good and you will chim with fear. But you can't tell how it will come. Nature to my chicha good job with the chip. I want to prepare you. You need to do whatever you're doing with God. You need to prepare with God. You need to walk with God. You need to cross over to the new year with God on your side. Many times you're failing because God is never on your side. Many times things are never the way you expect because you are at all. You want to walk with God? To walk on the truth. Live as a child of God. And to please God. All will be well. All will be well with you. Lift up your hand. And tell God, hold 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 your hand. Tell him to hold your hand. You walk with you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we bless you. You have instilled your knowledge in us. Under the guidance of your spirit. But I pray, Father. Holy Spirit, teach us the truth. Holy Spirit, teach us the truth. Holy Spirit, Help us to forgive. Help us to live as God's children. Help us to overcome evil. The Bible says, Jesus said, I have overcome this world. So worry not. Worry not. 
I have overcome this world. Because God is on your side. You shall overcome every battle. Your family will overcome every battle. You shall overcome that battle in your family. That battle in your family. That battle in your clan. That battle that has been waged against you. Only a few days to cross over to another year. But there's still a chance for you to make a good relationship with the Lord. Thank you for your help, Jesus. 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 Thank you for your help,